I was going to bring my scale, but I didn't think we'd be getting any this big. <laughs> What is good, Grey Gang? It is really cold. Well, we're actually waiting in this river. Probably not the best idea, okay? It's about 10 degrees this morning. We're going for smallmouth. Tell them what's happening, because I don't know. Little Creek here. Mm -hmm. We're throwing these little Ned rigs and a bunch of other artificial. Hopefully, we can catch us some smallmouth. And if that doesn't work, we're going to be getting a big net thing and getting live bait. We'll probably do that anyhow, because it's fun. Right. Now you may be saying, Kendall, dude, what are you starting with? This is the first thing I saw, so I tied it on. We're using a jerk bait. And just so you're wondering, yeah, this is kind of sketchy because we're in a creek in Kentucky. Listen, got the nine. I got the nine. Somebody messes with us, we'll send them down the Mississippi. But yeah, boys, without further ado, got the fanny pack on. Kendall Gray, one of the top guys. Listen, if you wade in creeks and you're not using a fanny pack, you're doing it wrong. Okay, we're going to start fishing now. First cast. The second. Oh. I'm already hung up. This is not a good start, dude. What do I want it to. Oh, now broke the jerk bait. What a tragedy. Oh, don't snap. Oh, 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 we're hooked up. Absolute monster. That's one of them ones, you know, on like the Bass Pro Fishing game on the Xbox where you have that thing. That's a trophy. Congratulations. Whenever people say monster, that's what they're talking about. I've not even got my bait tied on yet. He's already catching fish. Boys, well, this is the second moment of truth. I'm going in. Oh. You're going for it? Yeah, I mean, it's a little cold, but I'm wearing Crocs, one of which is hydro dipped, so it ain't going to get much worse. I mean, it's cold right now, but here in a couple seconds, I'll be numb and I won't be able to feel it anyhow. Yeah, I can't feel my feet anymore. What's the worst that could happen? Frostbite? Feet are overrated anyhow. We'll just get peg leg. The question is, is it really that cold? Or is it just our subconscious trying to talk us into it? At what point is this unhealthy? We should invest in waders, bro. I really think it'd be a great investment. It's crazy how now the conversation has evolved to, are we going to lose our toes today? Okay, guys, I hooked up on one. There we go. Not a bad one. First bite of the day for me. I name him Frank. Because he's a tank. Yeah, there we go. Getting a start now. There's one. That didn't take too long, did it? There we go. This is the hole. That's what he said. He said, this is the hole. I like watching them come in because I don't, this is Kentucky, I think. See you, Bobby. I know Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, Bobby. Dude. That, Bobby, dude, you're sitting here killing yourself. We let Bobby out and he liked it so much, he just came right back to us. I don't even know if that's the same fish. I actually don't know. I'm sure it is. All right, guys, so we found the hole. This is the hole. You can see it's the hole because it's the hole. This is the bait for these smallmouth. Yes, it is. He's already hooked up on one. I'm using the weird brown color. He's using one with chartreuse on it. They both working about good. Probably that one maybe a little bit better. So we got some people uh, decorating for Halloween right there. And then there was also an air pump over there. So someone probably was driving through the creek on their boat and got a flat tire. Just aired it up real quick. <laughs> All right, guys, we've moved on to a new hole. We're actually fishing with a school directly in the background, so if you hear some cheer, it's probably some kids hanging out the window. You know, we're just, uh, they're, they're moving the buses. We're just casually fishing. Just an average day. Nothing special. Here's a school bus. Aloha. Oh, man, I'm hung up. Is that him? Is it good? Oh, that's a good one. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, whoa. All right. I'll get out of the way. Wait, don't wrap up my feet. This is a good one here. Dude, there's one chasing it. Is there? Yes, dude. Oh. Bait out here. Come on, bend the hook back. Bend the hook back. <clears throat> See if we can get this one that was trying to chase it. He may have went back, but still. Check that out, dude. Dude, it's huge. He's massive. Now we're moving on to seining. This is where we're going to get the minnows. Show us what we got to do. So you're going to get one stick. Okay. I'm getting the other. Mm-hmm. We're going to take it. The minnows are laying like right up in here in these rocks and stuff. So mm -hmm. we have the bottom of the stick to run the minnows out. Mm-hmm. When they do, that's when me and you kind of start working our way together. And when they run out, we lift up. Hopefully, they'll be on our neck. All right, let's do it. So you're just gonna put your seine down on the ground, kind of. Right now? No, like when we get right there. And I'm gonna go in front of you and try to circle them back to you. All right. So I should stick it in over here. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wait, go first. Go on up. This is worth the way up. All right. I think we'll have a few in there, but oh wait, here they're coming already. Circle now. Lift. Okay. And then we just set it in the, like that, and we pick up the ones we want, the ones we don't want. All right, which ones do we want? We don't want this, or what do you think? This is, we call them sucker manners. Yeah. They got that little mouth. Mm -hmm. They're actually called a Tennessee stone roller. That's the best there is. That's the best? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's a doe gut. What's that mean? They're decent. What makes one better than the other, the way they act? Yeah, these are always more lively, and they live longer. They're a lot yeah. tougher. I know those really shiny ones die they quick. They die super quick, but obviously, like, these little ones, like, that one? Like that. We just throw them back. All right. Right here, they all are. Okay. We're coming into some thick stuff, but let it shouldn't stop us. Oh, we're, we're about to get them. Are we? Yeah. Keep your same down. Yeah. Circle. Lift it. Oh, we got them. We got them. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's a good 
That's what we like. That's what we want. Goodness, dude. That is a lot of minners. Yeah, I think it's got the minner trap beat a little bit. That took what? Probably 45 seconds if we's doing it if we tried to be quick for two yeah. runs. We got probably hundred minnows, maybe. We might not even have to go hit that deep spot. We was about to hit a deep spot. We still may do it. Hey, crawl daddy. We was about to go hit a deep spot where it's gonna be like at least 30 foot deep. Pretty much. But we may not have to do that now. Dude, that is a lot of minners. That's not even the ones that's already in the bucket. We may not have to hit that other spot at all. No. Golly. How many think we got so far? Probably around 200 to 225. That beats men are trapping all to pieces. I mean, that took. It takes two people though, that's the only thing. Two people. Five minutes at the most? Yeah, at the most. And that's with us doing it slow making a video. The cooler instantly just turned black. Now we'll turn on the aerator thing. We, they got a whole system right here, whole system bucket thing. We messed up. What happened? I we don't. Put the plug in the cooler. All our water's draining. Do we have the plug? I don't see it. Um, what's the thickest bait I got? Problem solving right here. Problem solving 101. What is the thickest bait I have? We can stick a Ned rig in it if we need to, or we could stick a minner in it. <laughs> we could. <laughs> Just grab a minner and shove it through the hole as a plug. It would work. You think a water bottle lid would go over that? Because it That's has what a. I was thinking there's one in here or not. Use the Mountain Dew. Chug, 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 chug. Is it the right thread size? I, I think it's on right now. It's not leaking anymore. All right, guys, so uh, we had another change of plans. We are going eight feet deep. This is the hole. You can tell. It's got a stinking waterfall on it. But he also just said there's like 20,000 minners over there. So, yeah, we're going in. And we're definitely going under at least up to here. And to beat it all, this is the only way down. Mm. Whoa, there's minners jumping right here. There's minners everywhere. I can literally see them everywhere, but yeah. right here. Right there, the dark spot. The dark spot. That is minners. There's leaves, but the minners are sitting all all in it. Like I could see them from up top. I think we could get, we got potential here to get 200 in one dip. All right guys, I'm setting up the big camera because big things are about to happen. Big things as in either big minners or uh, maybe a possible, you know, emergency evac, but you get the point. Here we go. It's gonna go a little deep. All right boys, we're going in. Oh! <laughs> we're past the point of no return. We ain't going back no more. <laughs> Oh, 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 no, oh, oh, okay, okay, that's a good, that's a good pull, that's a good pull, it's a cold one, but we made, we're, I'm still literally stepping on them, oh, that was freezing, we can get more though, oh yeah, there's tons, what do you think we got here, I don't know, probably at least a hundred, I would say probably close to, around a hundred, that's our only one that we've actually brought in so far, oh, I went past the point of no return, and forgot about my telephone, but that's all right, hopefully it's, uh, now it's saying there's no it, S SIM card installed, but I don't even think iPhones take SD cards, so yeah, it's for flipping out. We got that thing so cold, he thinks he's a stinking Samsung. We're already wet, we might as well keep going. We don't need them? No. Sure. Ready? Let's launch them. Right. One, two. There you go, little bubby. All right, I think I've took enough swim for the day. Let's go back one more time. Right through the deep part. <laughs> okay, it's going to push me back now. <laughs> okay, it's going to push me back now. We got five minutes. we could have died there's just a very very small chance of it whenever we started getting right up to the waterfall we couldn't walk any farther because the water was so strong it's actually pushing us back i don't know we definitely got wet up to here i believe so that i'm seven six so that's at least eight feet listen i'm not gonna say 500 meters no i am we got 500 meters but we didn't keep them all if we'd stayed here, if we'd kept the ones we had and stayed here maybe a couple more rounds, we could easily probably have a thousand. For sure. For sure. So every time we'd go right there, most of them would swim over here, but we'd still get like a hundred at a time. Let's go catch some fish. <laughs> yeah, now we get to go catch some bass. Got one. 
Yep, there he is. Oh man, dude, it doesn't take long at all. How is there so many fish here all of a sudden now that we start using live bait? Because artificial, we'd, we wouldn't caught one probably. I mean, he's a little Kentucky, but still. Maybe we did need a lot of bait. We're going to start going through them pretty quick. See, just like that, he's already dead. He's really not much use to us. We'll let a catfish eat him. Just hold up the rod. Wait for a good thump. There he is. Uh -oh. I don't know what we got. We, oh, this one's pretty good, I think. That's a good one. We're going to name him Jerry because he's pretty big. Dude, this is a good one. He's fighting nice. He's not the he's not as big as the one you caught earlier, but he's still pretty good. Oh yeah. He's fighting good. It's awesome watching them fight. Watch. We can watch them. We can watch them come in. That's how clear it is. And the best part about this rig is it's just a hook, so there's almost no way you can shake it unless you just don't set it. Oh man. Okay. 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 He's probably 14 inches, but that's not bad. This is kind of magical. Okay. You got it? Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that is a better one. We're killing them. This is crazy. Big smallie. I'd hate to be a minner living in this creek, this river, yeah, in this area. Everything wants to eat you as soon as you try to swim. Basically, all we're doing is throwing it up, letting him come down with the current. And whenever he stops coming down with the current, that's because he's probably in something's mouth. Which we did, we did our work already. We did our work with getting bait. Yeah. I'm gonna send one right behind that tree, and in about three seconds, I'll set the hook. Up, oh, it worked. Oh. It did indeed. It worked. Yep, I do. I don't know what he is. I can't tell. He's fighting pretty good. Is that a little walleye? Oh, I think it is. Yeah, yeah it, it is. is. Okay, that makes sense. I was wondering why such a little walleye. bass was trying to go after such a big minnow. Maybe my first walleye, I think. I'll get pliers out for this guy. He's got it pretty deep. Open your mouth, brother. They just keep biting. We can't make them stop. Oh, dude, I know what that was. What? There's a gash on the side. That's, that's oh, a walleye. got one. Uh-oh. Good one? Uh, he feels good. He feels really good. Oh, it's a bass. He's huge. Oh my. I don't know if that's a bass or a catfish, but he jumped, so I think it's a bass. Oh, oh snap. Probably my PB. It ain't gotta be big. Oh. That's my PB. Oh. <laughs> Let's see, he cannot Kevin, Kevin Van Dammen. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh come on, brother. Come on. Let's see, I'll bring him up. <laughs> no way! No way! Oh my goodness! Legit a four pounder. Oh my, dude! Maybe over. Dude, I was gonna bring my scale, but I didn't think we'd be getting any this big. Dude, this is dude, this, this is yeah, definitely my PB. I'm gonna be honest. We're in the middle of nowhere, Kentucky. Oh my gosh! Dude, that's a big one. That is a big fish. See you later, man. Dude, wow, wow. <laughs> So in the bucket that we did use, we only used about 100, we used about 150. All of the rest are actually still here and we're gonna be putting them in the pool pond. I'll lift this up and you can dip them out of there and put them in that bucket or however we wanna do this. So far, not a single one has died in this cooler, so that says something. Then after this, I'm gonna head down to a pawn shop and pick up a few guns. Oh yeah, guys, I, my phone's shot. It is done for. My phone is, it's, it, it's toasted. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put them in here until the next day we need them. Which probably won't be long. All right. And those are all just the ones that we didn't use. Hopefully something huge eats this thing. I can barely cast that thing. It bends my rod over. 